game is like <laughs> yeah looks like get up but stranger oh you mean I'm only bad. up I'm a baddest motherfucker in the world See, up close and personal, eh? Job. Oh, yeah. Can be twenty. Right in that octo C. Zero vibe shuffle, 46 vibe zone, um, zero feeling. You know how it'd be. Can be 20 vibe zone, um, zero <laughs> that would probably because they shuffle, forgot things four, there. Six, six, Wallets, keys, watches. The person in charge of the cafeteria always kept everything behind the counter. If you're looking for something, go there. Okay. We will 100% go there. <laughs> We got some more updates from the radio, the though. The City Council of Toledo has informed about the most violent night ever recorded, with 87 murders and 147 Holy murders. Holy fuck, that scared the shit out of me. To emergency lines. The endless... Oh my god! Dude! Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Almost caught back up to where we left off. Well, where the game crashed, that is. <laughs> timing I don't like that the ice man cometh oh my god Holy shit! <laughs> Tonight, yeah, for real. Huh. Well, that dude fucked off. Whoop, where is that puzzle? That looks like that. Oh, you know, I think it's those, uh... Oh my god! Oh, I've had quite the day, my friend, here to unwind. Well, I'm glad you are returning to normalcy and, and feeling a little bit better, hopefully soon. <clears throat> yeah, unwind. Oh, okay, I don't know what the fuck was going on, and oh, God, that was that was. 100% legitimate. We came upon a fog bank today. There's no chance of sailing around it, so we've had to sail straight through. Something about it makes me uneasy. With everything else going on aboard the ship, it feels like a bad omen. Oh, well. Fucked up. Don't you fucking dare drop down through there. Controller is better. Oh, shit. It's not charged. <laughs> you try to focus, but your mind keeps wandering. It restlessly drifts to one thing and another, leaving you lost and confused. You feel like you have to journey back and wake up from this. Now you'll need to find your path across somehow. Did they press something? Clicked. Enter. Oh, God. Okay. This is not supposed to be a. Ah! Ah! God damn, Martha, move! Oh, you better run, bitch! You'll never catch me alive! 
Hey, Nox. Uh, you want to play some Clone Hero with Heavy after this? <laughs> oh, God. Sick. And please do not listen to him. Oh, God. What the fuck is this? Oh, boy. And I, w and I was a big part of this group, whatever this is. Oh, great. Oh, shit. Cool cliffhanger. Finish the demo. Dude, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh no. It's fucking wild, dude. I don't even know where the hell he went. Oh, <laughs> Do that one gift shop gotta go in the gift shop first never mind oh that's weird why well, doesn't want to work but Looks like I found an elevator. Elevator! What the fuck? <laughs> I'm in the bush, she can't see me! be a sprinter I feel like you're a sprinter really feel like you're a sprinter you're a sprinter oh, what the fuck yo that sprint one of my very few good shots in that game oh, hello everybody welcome in Awkward enough, we're just at, like, the lull part of this song, which is interesting. I thought I had it timed out, so it would have hit the climax right as we were getting in. But, anyways, hope you're all doing well. It is pre-Friday, or, uh, <clears throat> the night, Friday Eve, night before Friday, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. We're almost there. Um, unfortunately, like I was mentioning in chat earlier, uh, I am on call this weekend. <sighs> Starting at noontime tomorrow, that's officially when it's like your shift now. And it's it technically phone calls will come in starting at 9 p.m. my time and Rye! Yeah, I'm angry about it too. I've been playing some Batman Arkham City and some ukulele. I've never heard of ukulele. But I love the phonetical spelling of the instrument ukulele. Uh Batman Arkham City though. All three of those games. Uh, yeah, it's three Arkham games, right? Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham... What's the third one? I don't remember the third one. I'm losing it. 
Just as we're getting in, but... Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be on call starting um, tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern, until 3 a.m. Monday morning. So that obviously is going to include um, stream time. And we've had to deal with this in the past. If there's any calls that come in, I just have to put up the BRB screen, put on some music, and I go and handle it. As long as it's not a true emergency, I can essentially just send a message and be like, hey, I'll take a look at it. Um, just so they know that someone's going to be looking at their problem. Uh, so hopefully it's a minimal amount of um, My disappointment is immeasurable. <laughs> me too, Meg, me too. Ruined. But fortunately, it's not tonight. I don't start on call tonight, which is good. Um, last year, in the previous, well, really last year and the year before, on call always started on Thursday. Um, we switched it to Friday to Friday instead. Um, and I feel like it's good. it works out better because that first night, it's just like, why am I already doing this? It's not even Friday night yet. And then you're doing basically the whole week anyways. Uh, through Wednesday night and then Thursday morning, it was like, you're good. But, yeah, ultimately, it's like the weekends are the most annoying part. During the week, it's like six hours every night from nine at night until three in the morning. And, like, honestly, on a weeknight, if I, especially if I'm streaming, I'm already up pretty late anyways. I'll I'll just stay up until three because my fucking anxieties will, like, take over. Uh, but, yeah. Anywho. I'm excited to play uh, two games tonight. The first game is called Exa Exanimum. Exanimum. Woo! Let's try that again. Exanin. Ex I have to look it up. Exanimum. Okay, not Exanimum. <laughs> so Exanimum, the silent call. Uh, this comes from Perspectic, uh, a relatively new developer. I think they have one other game out. Yeah, it's called Again and Again. Came out September 15th, 2022. I was not aware of it. Um, but I took note of it, and I'll look into, you know, if you obviously like this game, you know, I'll go check out this other one, too. Uh, so this one is a first-person psychological horror game. Uh, in this chilling experience, you will find yourself confronting terrifying mysteries and chilling secrets. This came out on the 11th, 10 days ago. It's got 82% out of 40 user reviews, so it's a solid positive right now. That's great. That's great. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, we got that gifted to us from Perspectic uh, directly through um, DMs and Twitter. I thought it was really cool. He reached out and asked, like, hey, you know, we saw you were interested in this a while ago. The game just dropped today. Here's a key. And I'm like, oh. So I'm, I'm pumped. Batman Arkham Asylum City and Night. Yes, we're made by Rocksteady. Batman Arkham Origins made by... Oh, Origins. Yes, that was a good one, too. There's four of them. Okay. Thank you, Van. Van, you've been following for... Oh, just over a year. Look at that. What? Two and a half weeks? About three, yeah, about three weeks. A year and three weeks. Awesome. Well, thank you for being here for a year. I remember when you played Remothered, Tormented Father. That was a good one. I dug that game. It was pretty good. Uh, so we'll be starting off with that game. And then we'll be wrapping up with the Exit 8. Um, ever since we played, I think it was Escape Floor Zero, um, a lot of people were in chat saying, like, have you not played Exit 8 before? And I'm like, don't know what that is. So I've had it on my list for a while to uh, get on top of. And here we are. Uh, exit 8, you're basically trapped in an endless underground passageway and you have to observe your surroundings carefully to reach the Exit 8. Uh, this game came out November 29th last year. So, uh, I figure that's one, two, three, four, just about four months old now. Um, from Kotake Create. And I actually haven't looked at their page yet. Oh, this is their first game. That's big. Because the recent reviews are very positive. 91% of the 516 user reviews in the last 30 days are positive. Out of all reviews since the drop at the end of November, 93% of the 5,185 user reviews for this game are positive. 
that's big. So they got very positive all over and in the last 30 days as well. So the the game's apparently fucking amazing. <laughs> so I'm excited because I, I do like the anomaly stuff. It's really been uh, the, the, the genre is really been stretching. Uh, it's not just us doing like death watch and like going from screen to screen and going, Oh, the door opened, you know, and it's and nothing against those games. I love them. I think they're fucking great. It's the perfect mixture of puzzle and horror. It's, it's right up my alley. Um, but what this is doing is more like the parking garage game we play where you have to walk through an area and if you catch an anomaly, you have to go in one direction. If you don't see an anomaly, I think you have to move forward. Yeah, and if you if you saw one, you go back, and you're consistently just trying to climb up through the parking garage. So, this is gonna be something similar, I guess. It's some underground pathway, walkway, something. Uh, so we'll be getting to that later. What happened to my music? Thank you. <laughs> like, where are we? At? <laughs> Anywho, uh, cheers to you all. I didn't even show you what it was. I'm so scuffed. Let me take a sip first. It's very full. Cheers. Ugh. Yep. This is the Irish Red from Untold Brewing. Uh, Untold Brewing's from Situate, Massachusetts. They just opened up a location a few weeks ago in Plymouth. Checked it out about a week ago. Brought a four pack of this Irish Red home called Irish Whisper. Very um straight and to the point uh you know marketing the color speak for itself you know uh yeah i got this on friday they were like i was like what should i get for beer They're like well it is saint patrick's day coming up we do have the i the irish red ale and i was just like oh i was like i've had that one before it's really good i was like i'll take a four pack of that why not uh, so here we are um i need to do at least one spin tonight I've been slacking, um, and against my better judgment, I'm going to go ahead and spin this fucking thing. Nice relaxing vibes so far, even with the music, all's going to be well, it's going to be whiskey or something nice. Oh, it's another beer! <laughs> yes! Okay, so, what would you all rather see in this scenario? Only I only ask because because I just cracked this one. Either I can finish this one and then drink a second, or I can just fucking crush this. <clears throat> Whatever anyone thinks. I first chatter to respond gets the answer, I guess. I'm too lazy to set up a fucking hole. Crush it. Alright, Chaos, you got it. <coughs> Not a good start. <coughs> oh, that's embarrassing. <coughs> Without dying. Oh, okay. You see, you didn't make that clear. And I figured that was the easy way to do it. <coughs> um, For what it's worth, I did just clip that so we can all make fun of me later. <coughs> Having said that, some context here. A couple of years ago, some of you may recall, um, I had a surgery. I not nothing terrifying or life threatening. I uh, got my massive fucking tonsils out, my adenoids, and they actually cut my uvula right the fuck out of the back of my throat. So <clears throat> the problem is, I had all that anatomy in the back of my throat. So like. Things and without me realizing it, because it's just what I was used to, you know, because it's just everything. I've, anytime I've ever swallowed food or water, it would take a while to get past the first part and then be fine. But it wouldn't bother me. And and it's I'm realizing because it would take time for stuff to like make its way down past these fucking massive organs <laughs> that aren't supposed to be that massive. Uh, so now there's just this fucking gaping hole called an esophagus and. <clears throat> I will choke on my fucking saliva, like sitting and watching TV. And I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's fucking awful. I hate it. It's, it's going to take a long time for me to like get used to that, like that change in anatomy. 
Um, they said it could take years for me to like relearn how to not choke while I'm swallowing, which is crazy. Uh, you would think I would slow down eating and drinking, but mm, here we are. So anyways, now that I've done with that spiel, I'm going to try to do this again. Ah, holy shit. That's what she said? Nice. <clears throat> this will be a big fucking burp coming up. I can feel it forming already. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I didn't take the points off. That's the most important part. We're supposed to be down to 16. <clears throat> oh, that was weak. I'm sorry, 15. It's three points, dummy. Uh, oh, excuse me. I swallow food different since getting mine out six years ago. Okay, so you got it done recently too, as an adult, yeah, specifically. Um, yeah, I don't know about you, if you had like the adenoids and uvula taken out too, if it was just the tonsils, but that fucking ridiculous uh recovery for me awful two weeks of fucking agony i didn't i there's no way i was gonna be able to stream i already knew that going in and uh yeah it i don't think i slept more than like an hour and a half a day maybe two hours i just i physically couldn't sleep my body would eventually just pass out from like the pain of swallowing pills <laughs> Just tonsils, but I was in awful pain with my ears after for two to three weeks. Yeah, the ear. Yeah, um, they said my ears may act up, but mine weren't like horrific, but they definitely were hurting more towards the end as everything else was like starting to chill. It was like, oh, I can stop being mad now. Okay, I wanted to die. Yeah, I was. I was like, I I felt so bad. Like Amanda, like made me a milkshake. I think like my first, like the morning after the surgery and like, I couldn't get the fucking ice cream up through the straw. I had no strength to like do any of that. And I was like, can you just get me a spoon? Like, girl, I'll just try to drink it. And I just like went back and it's, it hurts so fucking much. Like even water was rough. Um, but yeah. Anyways, see, I was like there for like a week. Oof. Gross. Yeah, Fry had Fry had quite the surgery too. Not to dip into your personal stuff, but I remember you you fucking had a very very rough go of it. <clears throat> that was even longer. Mine was two weeks. Yours was fucking what months? <laughs> yeah, uh, oh. I can imagine. All right. I don't know why I took my fucking slippers off. It's a little chilly tonight. I want to keep my feet nice and warm. Liquid died for months. Oh. It's miserable. It's snowing here? Gross. Keep it. I don't want that. It is fucking... It's, it's cold today. Not much pain, though. Really interesting. But definitely uncomfortable, I would say. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. All right, I've updated with the number up there to 15. Real feel of 17. Ugh. Megan numb and swollen. Oh, yeeks. All right. We're going to um start this game now. I, I thought about doing another spin, and I'm like, you know what? The last time I did that, it ruined everything. So I'm just going to be uh, moving on along here. Come join me. <laughs> ah. Okay. <clears throat> I, I don't know what to make of this main menu. It's... This is terrifying to me. Like, looks like worms are like millipedes right and there's like egg sacs little like larva larvae flying around little flies or whatever 
and there's like more of them like lining around the walls. Ugh. Fucking cool. Just something about this is just haunting to me. Like the the tunnel too. Like being very like surrounded on all sides. Like I'm not claustrophobic, but like the thought of me going into like a cave system and even before ever watching the descent, let me be honest, it just the the thought terrified me. I'm like, I don't want to be stuck under the earth like that. <laughs> uh but okay, enough of this. I gotta get into this. Like I I'm very curious about this game. It's a it's not uncommon for us to get approved for a key through like key mailer or lurk it any of those types of websites uh, where a PR team for a developer or sometimes the developer themselves, if, if, especially the indie-sided ones, they uh, will offer the keys up through your request. Like they'll look at your profile and like see what like kind of numbers you get and stuff. And if it's worth it to them, it's worth the investment. Uh, and like we get a lot of those, which is cool. But um, the amount of devs that have come to us and go hey here's a key can you do you want to play this like i'm like oh okay so this is one of those few times so it's i'm really excited to uh check this i had to double click it that was interesting i'm excited to check this game out it's for, for more than just that reason obviously why am i here <laughs> brother i ask that every day i don't remember anything uh it starts happening when you get older, right? The only thing I remember is that I was driving with my daughter and wife in the car. After that, um... Hello? Oh! Oh god! New Deep Rock Survivor map is lit. Yes! Heavy! I played some earlier today. Thank you for the resub, dude! 22 months, almost two years. This is how you wake up? Dude, where the fuck am I? And why do I only... Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hi, handsome. Right, right back at you. So this is creepy as fuck that we like came back just looking at that. Okay. We've been locked up somewhere. Okay. I I want to take this mask off. Is there Hello? Oh my god, it's hard. It's a hold crouch. I hate it. I'm about to take a shower and build some Legos with Jenna. When I get back, we should play a mock match at Clone Hero. Oh, also. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, it's not a click and drag, it's just a click. Cheers. Hell yeah, brother. This fucking sucks, dude. Who motherfucker puts a goddamn bag on my head and I can only see out of one eye? Oh, that's a fence staircase. Okay. Surgery. Ooh, it opened. Ugh. It's actually pretty clean for a surgery room, I have to say. I expected a lot worse. Oh, thank you for the lurk, Heavy. I appreciate you, my guy. All right, is this the exit? I can find out now. It's locked. Okay. I guess we have to go downstairs. I had no idea what floor I'm on, so I guess that makes sense that I would have to go down. Good potential I'm not on the first floor. Also, it's very dark. <gasps> Jesus! <sighs> you know, I was waiting for that to happen at some point. Every single door I went up to they had a window. Not that one. Holy fuck. 
Oh, piece of shit. And it's locked, too. An absolute piece of shit. Oh, the director's office. You can't turn the metronome on. Ah, oh, it's too bad. That would have made things so much more uneasy. Oh, can I zoom in here? I kind of can. Dismissed? Criminal complaint? Assault on a federal officer? And... Eluding... Examination and inspection. Hmm. What's going on here? Read the note. Subject, Jason Mercer. Dear authorities, this note contains important information regarding the patient Jason Mercer at St. Valentine's Hospital. Jason Mercer is a 37-year-old man who has recently been admitted to our hospital. He's undergoing treatment at St. Valentine's Hospital, but we do not have complete information about his condition and treatment. More information is needed about his personal and medical history. Based on our observations at the hospital, we would like to highlight some important points about Jason Mercer. Jason is an extremely mysterious and introverted individual. He struggles to communicate and often appears to be withdrawn to his own inner world. During his time at the hospital, Jason has been observed experiencing hallucinations and occasionally disassociating from reality. He, uh, this raises serious concerns about Jason's mental health. We don't have clear information about why and how Jason came to hospital. It's not, he has not provided any explanation during our conversations with him. It's imperative that Jason Mercer's treatment and observation process be cl closely monitored. Additionally, strict adherence to hospital security protocols is essential. We request further investigation to obtain more information about Jason Mercer and his treatment. Sincerely, Nikolai Petrovich. That's sketchy. Are we Jason Mercer? Oh. Got some keys. Could be helpful. Not going that way. Oh, you do it again. Oh, it auto unlocks. Cool. No fucking way. Oh. Uh. Oh, it's not. F Damn it. It's a payphone you have to know the code for. That sucks. I can't read that through here. Damn it. I guess it is upside down. Oh. 0451. I guess I should try it, but I'm concerned. Hello? Wallet, key. Wallet, key. Wallet, key. Wallet, key? Wallet, Dwallet? key. key. Wallet, key. Wallet, key. Interesting. All right. I don't know why I had to put another one in there, but anywho, we will uh, move onward. I guess everyone has a potato sack on their fucking head in here. All right, that's locked. That staircase is fenced up just like upstairs is. It sucks how you have, your eyes have to like adjust in the dark. I don't know if that's like personally on the lighting. Or just like how dark the game is that it's taking me a second to see things in the dark. I, it would be great if I had a fucking flashlight. Aha! Uh -huh. Reach on in and grab a, uh, something in the poop. <laughs> what do we get? I found a key. You reached in there and found a fucking key? Brother... What a fucking MVP. I wouldn't have fucking done it. Poop key, check, yeah. Is 
there a oh it's that okay i was like there was a red light there a second ago okay those doors are locked okay oh is this a door right here Oh, I didn't use the key though. Okay, so this was always unlocked. Interesting. Okay. Was our friend saying toilet key? Maybe he was saying toilet key. Yeah, good point, Shuffle. Thank you. From the early hours of the morning, the influx of patients and visitors began. However, the day started off like any ordinary day, until those strange phone calls arrived. At 10.30, the man phone... The man phone? <laughs> God damn it. The main phone rang with a call from the number 2120. Oh. Initially, I thought it might be a routine call for a patient or visitor, but there was no sound. Only silence and a strange static noise could be heard. I waited for a while, but there was nothing on the other end. A few minutes later, a second call came from the same number, and this time strange noises could be heard. I started to feel a bit concerned and decided to record the calls and report them to the security department. However, when the third call came, I was met with an even more alarming situation. The caller was speaking incoherently, and their tone was unsettling. I immediately informed the security department and continued to keep records of the incoming calls. We had never encountered such situations before. The rest of the day, things proceeded normally among the patients and visitors. However, those peculiar phone calls still linger in my mind. Okay, so 2120, we call in that number. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Who is calling achievement? Oh fuck, that dude left. Do I call back? Take me away. I don't think I can make another phone call. That's interesting. I right, we still have a key. So yes, we must have a locked door somewhere, right? That only would make sense. I don't know if this door is accessible or not. We're going to find out. Oh! And that didn't make the unlock noise either. Can't see anything in these corners. Not this much there, but... Punishment cell. It also did not use the... It's all your fault. Yikes. Oh, boy. Why can't I go back there? What's the point of this room? Huh. I figured I had to go in the corner to like look at something over there, but I guess not. No lore or anything in this room. Oh, that wasn't a setup. That would suck huge ass. Do you wish to punish me? Yeah, now I do. What the fuck? Shuffle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Was not ready for that at all. Alright, I guess we'll go back upstairs. We'll check the other doors. There's nothing else down there that I can dick around with. Thank you for the biddies, by the way. Even if they were used... Destroy me. Still have the key. I, I swear... 
the fuck was that? Alright, so this key... Oh, probably a good thing that I can't get into that bathroom. Try this one. That's locked as well. Hmm. Most unfortunate. I still have a key. Wish it would tell me what it was for. Nothing written on it. be funny if you did that enough and eventually ran over and fucking jumped at you. Oh, pff, absolutely shit bricks. Alright. I'm running out of doors to try here. Um, I don't think these stairs can come unlocked. Yeah, I, like, clicking on them doesn't even make any noise. And I went, that was the surgery room, yeah. All right, let's try this one. Nope. Well, this isn't good. Anything over here that I haven't seen yet? What was that? Psychology of art. Yep. This is the end, it's here. Let's look on the walls for any clues. They... They drive me crazy. He's... He's already here. Noises in my... Huh? Oh, noises in my head. Yeah, it took me a second. <laughs> That's quite the uh, spectacle. Oof. They're... They're watching me. Voices in my head. Oh, that little shadow creature up there. Oof. A great fucking room to sleep in. Oh. No better bat no better fucking bedroom than that. Okay. We've already checked these doors. I'll come waltzing back in again. Only with a pass in the sector of the most violent patients without the permission of the chief physician entrance is prohibited. The door must always be closed. That's why I can't get in, because I, I gotta find specific keys to get in there. Clicking on this isn't making me. I saw those two notes, which are not helpful. Yeah, I guess I'll go back downstairs and look, but. I don't believe there's anything else I can really do upstairs either now. I had to have missed something somewhere. Anything back here behind the stairs? No, just this wheelchair that's blocking me. Thanks a lot. Yo, demon, what's up, dude? How are things going, my guy? Jordan Smith. Huh. We have the director's house. We haven't gone down here since. It is absolutely pitch black in that corner. I had to go up against this thing to be able to see anything. That's wild. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, it's time, baby. Cheeky. Well, hello, my friend. Welcome in. Yeah. I don't believe in me. Go, go, go. <laughs> Is that there, Mario? My grandson Good plays day. Mario. Good job. Huh? Hope you're doing well, Shiki. <laughs> oh my god, I am gonna have an anxiety attack because of how he is breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. A breakdown. Doing alright, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. No complaints. Hi. I mean, I'm on call over the weekend, which is my only gripe. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it could be a toss-up. It could be a nothing burger, and I have a good weekend. Wow. Or it could be busy as shit. Scary stories all day and night. Oh, wow. He lived with his mother, but she was very strict. Stop reading that book. The boy was sick of being told what to do. It's not fair. I hate being on call. Yeah. Herbal. Ideas. Revenge. Fingers crossed a slow weekend. Thank you, Sheik. Boy sneaked through the house. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped and shouted and frightened his mother. Rah! He loved scary stories. <laughs> That's it. The end. That's it. Great, great rendition. How did your stream go? What were you, what were you all playing? What were you up to? We just, uh, we started Xanimum, uh, the, the silent call. That was a long one. Riz, yellow. And how are you doing? Can't even go near that. All your faults. Yeah, I know it is. I don't know how, but it, it probably is. I probably didn't see some really obvious items somewhere. Is kind of why I'm walking into these dark as fuck corners. Ho Aha! I have found another room. See? Told you I'd find it was gonna be something silly. We did some demos. First was Cap Capybarista, then Tony's Pizza, then Loveland, and then Cozy Room Decorator. A lot, but it was a good time. Yeah, it sounds really chill. Doing pretty good. Glad tomorrow's Friday. Hell yeah, Riz. Yeah, that's why I love my pre-Friday streams, because I'm, like, already in Friday mode. Did I seriously come in here and there's fucking nothing? This is... fucked. You know what? Can I grab that? No, I can't. Okay. Seriously, though? I got all excited I found another fucking room. And they ain't dick in here. Except for that, but... Can't take that. I can't take any meds or anything like that. I still have the key, so I didn't... This door didn't get unlocked with a key. That's that. I already checked that corner. There's literally nothing in there. Uh, we did the director's office recently. Uh, I checked around here. There another... No, there's no other door there. Shelf unit. There's the wheelchair that... Locks the bottom part of the staircase. Yo, Vandra, what's up? How you doing? How the rest of your stream go this morning? I got really fucking busy out of nowhere this morning, which really sucked. 
Sorry to rain and run, but I need to get cozy. I'm not feeling the greatest. I'll pop back in if I can't sleep. Hope you have an amazing stream. Oh, Shiki, I'm so sorry to feel you, I hear you're not doing too well. That sucks. Well, I hope you feel better soon. But yeah, go get go get nice and comfortable. Sure. Aha! Okay. Ooh. I got outside. Alright, how do I get the how do I get the fuck out of here? I still go check this other door. Staff only. It's nothing. That door just don't work. Okay, tired. Rest was good. Guy the bunny was great, and Gad was good. Buggy, but fixed now. Oh, that's good. Glad to hear you had a pretty good stream then overall. Hello. Hey. Um. Hello? I didn't imagine that person, right? How did you get over there? Hey. Is there a secret tunnel or something I can get out? I, I don't belong here. I really don't. I don't know why at that moment, but I just apologized. And she said, this is your fault. Suddenly, Silent Hill. Yeah. What? Oh. Oh, that was the, uh, the intro to the game. The epilogue. No, I'm sorry. The prologue, if you will. Oh, look. There's a fire. Turn off the alarm. Oh, is, okay. I guess I sleep on the couch all the time. Find Jessica. It's me, Jessica. A little bottle of soda here. Out. No signal. Damn. Huh? Yeah, guy had a dream. A really fucking weird dream, I'll give him that, but... Mozart, play the piano. <laughs> I love when I find goofy achievements like that. Kitchen is a fucking mess. That's locked up. Everything's fucking locked. Okay. Jessica. Oh, Jessica. Hello. Oh, this is the bathroom. Naturally. Ugh. No reflection, I'm a vampire. The goofy of the achievement, the happier I am. It's me, Jessica. I'm in here. Jessica was changing clothes in the room. We had plans for today. Did we? Okay. I'm not supposed to go. Take care of your daily needs. Wash your face, take a shower, use the restroom, have a snack. So everything in here. We're going to do everything out of order. Although you got to take a dump before you take a shower. Let's be honest. I right, know dumpage there. Just pee. Quick shower. Alright, let's go have a little snacky snack. Probably downstairs in the kitchen. How on earth do I find a sneaky snack? Oh! That's because too close to that. Uh, no, I want a snack. Oh, right there, the apple. 
Thank you. Now I'll pick up the phone. Are you hungry? Eat the apple. Yeah, of course I'm hungry. I hope it's cheese. Oh, it would have been great if it was cheese. Hello? Hello, it was Emily, Sarah's mother. She's asking if we could come to the birthday party. We're about to hit the road. And then what? Oh yeah, what's behind? No, I think this door was locked before. Oh. It was. Here's the garage. After taking the flashlight, get into the car. Who brings a flashlight with them? Where the hell were you expecting to go? It was a birthday party. Where's the birthday party? Middle of, literal fucking middle of nowhere? I mean, I'll take it. I could use a fucking flashlight. Be honest here for a second. Let's go. I'm assuming, um... Jesus, okay. Good evening, Father. How are you doing? Thanks for the pits. We're running late for the birthday party. That's why we chose for the shorter forest road, but a tree had blocked our path. Well, fuck. Well, what do you want me to fucking do about it? You turn on the flash by pressing the F key. That I can. What do you want me to do? Look at the size of this fucking tree. What do you want me to do about it? No, I'm not going down a random path in the fucking middle of the woods. Fucking Jurassic Park over here. What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck? Oh. Dude, you look at the size of the fucking bite? Yeah. No fucking signal, of course not. Move it. Yeah, I'll just move it, sure. Good, thanks. Oh, good. Midnight birthday party? Guess so. Can I just leave? Nope. Fuck. Well, there's no way I can move this fucking tree. Take me a while with a chainsaw. I guess I'll take the lit path. God damn it. This, honestly, if I, if this was me in this situation, I'm turning the car around. I'm not even turning the car around. I'm just going to gun it in reverse. I'll fucking J turn it half a mile down the road. You would not find me out of the car, let alone come up this fucking path. No way. This is fucking miserable. And it's one of the games where you have to, like, move the flashlight around. Oof. That gave me a momentary heart attack. I thought it was a giant lizard. I got very confused for a moment. Still going. Oh yeah, wiggle that flashlight. <laughs> Soggy on envelopes, what's up? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Fuck. Literally somebody's house. Hello? Oh. Doesn't look like anybody lives here now. Or hopefully they don't. If they live here and they let this happen, they're probably not very nice people. Oh.
Don't you he 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 me, demon. <laughs> Looks like the fucking house from, uh, was inside part running that house from Resident Evil 7 where you fight the mom. She's in full spider mode. Right as the flashlight goes out, Ginger? Really? Thank you. I was going to say you're breaking and entering, but never mind. No, I think I still am. <laughs> Fucking flashlight's already dead. Um, I'm going to go that way. Yet. I'm going to go to the lit area first. Oh, cool. There's some... Oh, that's a shirt, not blood. Never mind. It's all good. You stop. Nothing over here. Fuck. Someone watching us? Oh, there's someone on the other side of the tree. Oh, that's fucked. That's horror games, yeah. Going to burrito mode, Juggies, I'll watch you with the cat. Oh, thank you, Van. Go get nice and burritoed up. Extra queso, because we all love cheese. And he's like, house layout, check. <laughs> I won't stop. I didn't think you would, my friend. Trust we will something. Biohazard symbol with an X through it? We against biohazard weapons? Is this gonna be some weird shit? We should do the point of that clock. Wait a minute. something behind this. How the hell? Is there a door I don't know about? No, there isn't. Ah! Yeah. Cynthia! What's up? How are you doing on this fine Thursday evening? I gotta figure out what to fucking do here. I want my flashlight to work again. No way of fixing this, and it's just loud as fuck. Love that. So there's really is nothing over this way. Or that way. Just chilling, I'm good, how are you? I'm doing alright. You know. All things considered, can't really complain. 
mean, I could if I wanted to. If God, that was a plan. If that was a person, I was about to piss myself. Very hard to see the corners in this game. I don't want to make it too, too bright. Actually, let me see if I can change the brightness a bit. Because it's probably very dark on your side. Brightness. It's at 50. 65. Let's see what that does. I feel like this is better. Oh, this door's open. Nice. Oh, maybe not nice. Oh, that was actually a door. Wow. Box. What just happened? Oh, the ad break ended. I saw like chat bounce up and down. It scared me for a minute. Be quite dark. Well, is hopefully it's better now. That's also locked. Hello? Knock, knock. Achievement unlocked. Oh. Thank God that's working again. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't expect the big old loud zoom in jump scare. Go back to Jessica. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? I just heard footsteps, I swear. Get the fuck out of here. So uh, let's make let's make haste, as some would say. Uh no. That dude's gonna be routed right here to the right. Fuck that. Go. Oh, my stamina runs out? Oh, it was, yeah, it does. Wow. Got, got good ads, X-Men 1997. I've heard good things about it. I remember watching that, like, the original, like, back in 1997 as a kid. It fucking ruled. Jessica's not here. Dun, dun, dun. Where do I go? What the fuck was that? Okay, doors open. I know where to go. I grew up in that in Batman. Yeah, car, hand, hook, door. It's fucking boring. We gotta move. Hopefully, someone lives whatever. Ah! Oh! What the fuck was that shit? Oh my god! Is this a Wendigo game? Wendigo? It's just oh dear, but scary. A group of Clone Wars series, not the movie, great sh shows, not the dumb shit today. <laughs> I remember watching a bit of it here and there. I say so as a kid, dude, I was already out of the Marines at that time. Way to make the old ones feel old. <laughs> Sorry, D-Man. Uh, <laughs> Fuck this shit. Oh, 
tired. Get me the fuck out of this nightmare. Like, the thunderstorm, while it's not scary in and of itself, it makes it so difficult to track footsteps, if there are any. Because there's just so much noise in every direction. So I have no idea if something's going to jump out at me. It's just going to happen. Fuck. What's this? Put a little hint there with the flashlight to go find some lore. And it looks like a blank sheet of paper with no lore on it, and there's just a jump scare. Troll behavior. Toxic. Thunder can be scary in real life, yeah. Oh, fuck that. That's nice. That's real nice. Thanks. Fucking demonic assholes. I saw you over there. What the fuck? What are you doing? Who are you? Where's the light? Right there. Follow the light. Stay on the path of follow the light. Oh, fuck. I'm stuck. I don't know what that dinging is in the distance, but I'm not a fan. Let's go. Oh, it's another house. Oh, please tell me someone lives here and they're friendly with a landline. Is there someone up on the fucking wall? You guys see that? Is that a person or a drawing? Oh, okay. Not a drawing, yeah. Oh, it's locked. Guess I'll just leave then. See y'all later. I'll search the side. Oh. Of course, there's a back deck with blood all over the place. God. I'll search for Jessica. I'd found a house. Perhaps she could be here. Eh, not by her own accord. Hope you find it inside. Doesn't want to go in that place. Yep. Yeah. It's me. She has sick. Come on, dude. Every time it's like the most impeccable timing to have a flash. Flashlight. Whoa. Can you do this to me? Again, yeah. <clears throat> Today I got lost again. Those gray clouds are hovering above me, enveloping my soul. The medications, as if attempting to alleviate the darkness in my mind. But how effective they are, I don't know. This frail body, this tired mind, feels like I'm getting heavier every day. <laughs> no matter how hard I try, I feel like I'm lost in the darkness. People around me talk, laugh, continue living. I, on the other hand, am an observer. A mere figure existing on the edge of life. Even though I'm in this world, I can't establish a connection with it. My journal is a kind of internal scream. Perhaps no one will read these lines, but writing seems to alleviate this weight, if only a little. Yet even among these pages, I feel lost. 
Maybe this loneliness could lead me to find someone. Perhaps this place where I'm lost, I could find a glimmer of hope, a light. So I'm intrigued because this is obviously written by that patient they were talking about that basically doesn't talk and doesn't like associate. He just associates and hallucinates and shit. I'm just curious if these are my notes and that's actually me. Just a thought. Locked, okay. What else over here? No, that was the dining room area. All right. Let's go through the place that's blocked off with boards. Locked. Locked, that's probably the basement anyways, I don't mind. Oh, for fuck's sakes, dude. What the fuck? I don't want to be in this fucking house one more fucking second. Can I fucking... I'm trying to click. Okay. What was it? Key of some sort. I mean, I thought it was going to be a key or, or something to get us through a door. That is... That is something. Would be surprised if you were Jason. Well, I mean, I I didn't do that. I definitely didn't do that. Front door it's locked. Side hallway locked. Upstairs we go. Oh yeah, this. This house is starting to look a little familiar for all the wrong reasons. I'm checking the other fucking doors first. Fuck that. Oh, equally fuck that, dude. Why won't my flashlight work? Oh. No, 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 no. I don't have that. Uh, uh, what do, do I have to hide? What's going on? I don't like this music at all. What the fuck? It's a bed. Okay. And wow. Who designed this fucking room? <sighs> Try this other room. It's very dark. Yeah. Can I... I can't even go in there. It won't let me. For the love of fuck, I just want my flashlight to work, please. There's nowhere else I can really go here. I'm just gonna run it back one more time. That's where key would go, but I do not have one. Apparently, already used the key. Oops, that was me. That was me. That was me. That was me. Do I have to go back downstairs? Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Oh, he's missing a leg, too? Jesus. I got fucking ripped apart. What is going on here? <gasps> okay. 
That wasn't fucking cool. One, please. We have my fucking flashlight back. Please. Oh my god. Uh, I hate this. I fucking hate this. I recognize that kitchen. There's another couple of the doors here. No. No. There's one over by the stairs. Well, two by the stairs, technically. There's this front door. I think this is. Yep. And then this one is just somewhere else. Sucks, dude. I can't fucking find it. Whatever it is I'm looking for, I uh I'm not having a good time find trying to find it. Fucking trying to click on everything in case I get lucky. There's no like fire poker over here or some shit. No, there isn't. That's fucking awful. Damn it. We go back upstairs. That sounds like it could be upstairs. It's too dark in here for me, though. What the fuck was that all about? I'm starting to get pretty confused. Bum bum, 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 bum bum wub. Well, thank you for that. Fantastic piece of artwork, Shuffle. Sucks. Oh! Okay, now it works. Oh no, this is a dude's fucking head. He had way too much fun playing Atari, it looks like. Examine him the silent call. Uh -huh. That's the game we're playing. Again and again. That's his other game. They uh that's the other developer's game. Right, the developer's other game. Okay, so this is another key. Padlock key. Oh, so that's the thing that's upstairs. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Now I'm gonna go to bed. All right, demon. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you have a great night. See, he's right behind me, and then he wasn't. Fuck. Hello? Is this, is this my lady? I don't think so. Flashlight, please, flashlight. <laughs> what 
the fuck? I will take a shit in this toilet with you in the room if you don't let me out. Hello? Sir? Oh my god, you're you're a big fuck, you know that? I will not, thank you. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, bathroom seems to be fucking clear of anything useful as well. A lot of blood. Might as well go follow the blood. Because that's never got me into any trouble yet. Oh my god. I found myself alone with the painful thoughts that I struggled to put on paper. The echoes of my daughter still intoxicate my soul, and I feel the need to empty myself by writing these lines. Her laughter was the only light that illuminated my world of gray, even if it's just a little. But life played a cruel game to steal that light away from me. What I did was not intentional. Confronting the truth from time to time, reflecting on what I've done and what I couldn't do, feels like an earthquake shaking my core. Maybe you can't understand. Perhaps no one will read these lines, but you should know that it wasn't my choices, but the circumstances beyond my control that led me down this path. My writings are nothing more than a desperate scream within myself. Even if no one reads these words, writing brings some relief. Perhaps within these pages, I am a lost soul. Maybe one day, these expressions will leave a mark where I got lost. Yikes. Oh! Hold up. Where's Hatch, New Mexico? No, I am in there. Stupid. I hate it. Oh, God. Oh. King. Safe house in Indiana. I'm behind possible resources. <laughs> Great. What the fuck is this? Yo, is there a giant fucking dead body right next to me this whole time? Oh, fuck this house, dude. Fuck this. Good. I don't want to go up there anyways. Now where'd he go? That just fucking moved. I don't need to go back in there. Do you have to come up here though? Get across. Okay. Well, what the fuck was that for? I can't get anything out of it. <laughs> oh, there we go. What the fuck? Looks like it wants to be 25. Maybe. This is definitely a 5. And maybe this is just like... Yeah, because there's a little piece here. Nothing there. But it definitely looks like a 25 to me. Why won't you open? Fucking piss me off, sir. I don't really 
really know. 25. You know what? I also saw an 11 earlier, too. Near that headless body. Show sure what I mean. Right here. It, oh no, it's not really an 11, huh? There's something else going on in the middle. I couldn't tell you what fucking number this is, regardless of which way I'm looking at it. Maybe 41. And the four's backwards, though. I don't know, but even so, I don't really know what that's supposed to be used for. Again, can I please have my fucking flashlight working again? I don't know why I just got so scared about this area of the house. I've been here quite a few times. Now we know where to go next. I have a padlock key, but there's not many locked doors left here. There's, I just tried that. Let me walk into it. Okay, definitely didn't work. I guess I'll try this front door. Yeah, no. I'll go back through here just in case there's anything else. Fucking dickhead scared the shit out of me. Oh. Okay. Another copy of Again and Again. Yeah, there's really nothing around. Where else can I use this key? Oh, there's something else down there. What was that? It just like opened over here. I heard it. Oh. A lighter, please? Yes? Oh, thank God. Whew. A little bit of light is nice. Another note. The day was another nightmare. I experienced one of the darkest moments of my life. My wife, the most precious part of my life, slipped away tragically in a car accident. The sound of the collision, the shattered glass, even remembering them pains my heart. In that moment, time stood still, and everything was de dragged into a sudden dark void. With the pain didn't end there. My daughter became paralyzed as a result of the accident. Witnessing her trying to cling to life every day, yet failing, shatters my heart even more. I raised her with my own hands, embraced her with love, and now it feels like I've taken her life with my own hands. I couldn't be a, I couldn't be a good father. Every day I question why I've brought such pain to my family. Perhaps writing these lines could somewhat alleviate the destruction within me, but right now I feel like a lost, shattered soul. That's sad. Silent call. Can I try to read this? The angel named Zara Cool responds to a deep call in silence amidst the dark shadows. The lament of lost souls is heard. It shines like a beacon of hope in silence. Those filled with the desire to bring back their lost loved ones must carefully turn the pages. This angel is introduced as a mysterious entity existing to aid those in sorrow. Those who bear the call may have a chance, or those who hear the call may have a chance to find their lost loved ones by following Zara Cool's guidance. I don't think I want to. Great. Every return demands a price. The returned loved ones may have changed not only physically, but also spiritually. Ooh. Well, if it's worth it, then. Shadows of the past can overshadow the future, and brave souls must make a choice amidst loss. 
While these calls are fulfilled, uh, sorry, while these calls are filled with hope, caution must be taken against the dangers hidden in the depths of darkness. Am I supposed to just hold on to this, or like what? Okay, I've moved. All right, so. Oh, I put it back. I'm, I'm interested to see what's in here. But I'm also not. Oh! There we go. Oh! There's that 25. We got that part right. The third one down looks like what we saw that like what we thought was 41 or 14 or something puzzle. It looks heavy. That doesn't look like heavy. There's two other ones we haven't seen yet, but I mean the bottom one at the bottom looks kind of like a battery. And then one the below the 25 is like three fourths of a Chevy logo. <laughs> oh. Oh. So I shall. Uh, why don't let me combine that? I'm confuzzled. Can I get back to the game? Okay, there we go. I'm like, why isn't this working? Chilling. Why is there... I just think I could still look here. That's weird. I can't actually look in there again. Weird. Oh boy. Someone's behind that. Unless it was me breathing on it, which is also possible. Let's read this first, because that's what we need to do. Sad Barry. Say I couldn't resist the anger boiling with me once again. I hate everything. This dull life, the painful memories, and most of all, the nightmares within myself. My doctor couldn't rescue me from this chaos. His medications, instead of calming the storm inside me, seem to intensify it. Why isn't he healing me? Why can't he find a cure for my illness? These questions are driving me even more insane. I'm lost in helplessness. My anger feels like a natural reaction to all of this. Perhaps, I hope, this internal storm will calm one day. But for now, the darkness within me leaves the bitter taste of hatred. Yikes, dude. Oh, God. Which one is that? And why is there a five on it? I'm interested in something. Even more so than I was before. Follow me over yonder, everybody. Yes. That has a number one. And the thing downstairs had one as well. I will show you... Get the fuck out of here, bro. Piece of shit. This has a zero on it. Yeah, that kind of looked like the battery one. You see 25 is... Uh, what's, what number would we say that was? A two. This one here is the third one down is a zero. Battery was a five. So it's definitely a cipher, but I don't know where we'd be punching that stuff in. 
if I have to be honest here for a second. I do have another key though. Could it be? Yep. It's fucking time. <sighs> Thank you, Shuffle. It's time, all right. Fucking prick. What is all this shit? Is there a way for me to sneak down over here? There is. Okay, good. Oh. Oh, I, yeah, I don't like this at all. It's a fucking maze of shelves and storage bins and totes. canned foods. What is it? Fucking doomsday prepper over here? Random fucking walls that somebody haphazardly put together? Yeah, this is bad. Like I said, this is bad. That's a lot of fucking car batteries. Cool, if I just turn the power on, game over. And win. Yeah. Oh god. Someone hangs out in this room. My daughter, my little angel, was dependent on life support in her hospital bed. Facing this reality was becoming increasingly difficult with each passing day. I didn't want it. No, I didn't want her to breathe in this dark world. I didn't want to condemn her to this life of pain and sorrow. Yet every day, the sounds of the machines tethered to her tired body were shattering my heart. The turmoil within me, alongside the pain of feeling like a parent, was shaken by the desire to do what was best for her. Perhaps shutting off these machines would be the best decision for her. But making that decision was deepening the cracks I had created within myself. I didn't know what to do. All I knew was that I wanted an end to my daughter's suffering, and maybe making the decision could be one final gift for her. Ugh. That sucks. What? I'm gonna kill you. I don't wanna do this. Oh, just you shouldn't come here. Don't leave me. I need you. I do not need... Well, that's usually not a good sign. Unless you're at a death metal concert. Oh, time for play. Caddy Lorps. Lubricant. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. This is it's what you gotta call a bachelor pad, if you will. Oh, my God. Big signals there. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Come on. Fuck you, tree. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is where we had... 
Uh, battery was the last one. We think that was five. We think the 25 was one. And this, was this the, four, no, this was the 41. That was zero. Got it, brute force. <laughs> I don't even know where the fuck the other one was. Jesus fucking Christ, who was that? Headache, achievement unlocked. I've always fought with myself. I can never change the outcome. I'm here and I'll be here forever. Yep. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Is that nightmare to start? Makes sense, because he was already in there. Oh, man. Yo, Stroop, what's up, my guy? Hope you're doing well. This is exactly what I wanted to do to myself. I wanted to kill myself in this way countless times, but I chose to surrender. I'm here now, all alone. Doctors diagnosed me with severe anxiety and depression. I'm taking my medication regularly now. I aim to heal. I didn't want to lose my daughter. Her cheerful laughter was the only light illuminating my world along with my wife's. My wife died because of me. Maybe if I had been more careful, both of them would still be alive. I didn't want my daughter to endure the pain after the accident. While thinking about what I could do to protect her, I thought the silent call book could be a hope. Maybe we could have a chance to keep her alive. But I summoned an unknown entity. A vague connection was established between us. Sometimes I see it. I started eventually to avoid harming people. I never wanted any of this to happen. Now I'll spend the rest of my life in this cell. Doctors will take care of me and I'll take my medication. The, the diary makes me feel better. But I keep repeating stories with the same ending. It's time to end this cycle and start a new page. I decided to finish the diary. Perhaps a new page, a new hope, and a new beginning could emerge. I hope I could find a way of salvation for my lost soul. Can we put it away? Well, this sucks. Oh, the fade away. Wow. Even though I kind of saw the ending coming, very well executed. That was good. I'm assuming it's over. Yep. Okay, let's go. Now we're back here at this fucking main menu again. Oof. This is the this is the the dark place in his mind. This is what he sees. Well, not sees, but like this is what he like. It feels like the inside of his mind is fucking wild. Okay, all right. So yeah, that was Exanimum, the Silent Call. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna get the exit eight. All launched up here and ready to go. And then I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. Um, yeah, that game had some good scares in it. Not, it wasn't overloaded with them. Ooh, this is bright. Second, I'm just gonna check all the different. Uh... Nope, motion blur off. Mm -hmm. Lower the volume down like halfway. Okay. Let's go ahead and get my captures going. All right. 
Okay, I can see it's getting picked up on stuff. Good, 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 good. Uh, okay. Let me go ahead and update the category to exit eight. The exit eight, excuse me. No longer branded content. Done. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go hit the head, don't go anywhere. Oh, fuck! Does that work? I don't know. There's no way out. Code 5913. Oh, fuck! God fucking damn it. Ooh, ooh. You look like you're so happy. Look at the tail go. Oh, oh, don't stop it. I gotta find you some food. I'm gonna make you happier. It's gonna be something it's been that. One week since you fingered me. <gasps> oh my god. I just. <laughs> I wasn't fucking ready for that. Fuck was that noise? All right, I got the office key now, so we're going to the office. Three nine four one five. What the fuck? Oh no! It's the bunny girl and her titties are out. Fucking shit. Okay, we are back. Ready to roll. Come on and join me over in uh, the exit eight. Okay. So I think it just starts. Yeah, it just uh, starts. Hello? Hi? Two seconds, sprint. Space is also sprint? Keep left. That's, that's the right. Oh, keep left of the yellow, probably. Exit zero. Okay, so there's a lot of things to think about here, like... These posters can fucking change because there's six of them. He's walking down. There's three doors and a red light. Left. Alexa zero. Oh boy. Guess I missed something. Move this game for a while. Shit. There's also two vents up up there. If any of these changed that second to last one down here that was there before the camera in operation three doors two vents red light oh mm, fuck Nine, two vents, three doors, red light. Still exactly the same, that's still there. Should I just start running backwards for the piss of it? Oh no, okay, that one was apparently good. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, that looks all looks good. Like if it's if it's the writing on the doors, I'm fucked. Looks exactly the same. Wait, 
There's a phone in his hand. He have a, he had a phone in his hand before. Fuck. I guess I was wrong. Go back this way. Fuck it. He does have a cell phone in his hand, then. I guess I just never noticed it from this side. Okay. Otherwise, he looks pretty normal. Oh. Don't overlook any anomalies. If you find anomalies, just turn back immediately. If you don't find anomalies, do not turn back. Go out from exit 8. Yep. He seems a lot taller. Like, substantially taller. Yep, mm-hmm. Exactly. Normal to me. The problem is, like, all these things can be different, apparently. Even the smallest little detail. Throw us off. Fuck. <laughs> this is a lot harder than the parking garage one. Like, it's got to be obvious stuff for me to notice it. It's really bad. Looks relatively normal. All right, cool, 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 cool. Looks the same. All right, cool, cool, cool. Man's the T one thousand from Terminator to Judgment Day. On to three. Okay, I even fucking noticed that from all the way out. Wild. I'm like, well, let me look at these pictures. You're looking normal today, there, Gene. That's his name, Gene, by the way. Fuck was that? Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, it resets to zero. You don't just go back one. Oh no. Oh, I the ED meds for you. Oh good. Rock a full one. The rest of my fucking stream now. Appreciate you, limp. Hey, to him, bud. Like there might be a small. That wasn't very small. Let me make sure you are rock hard always. Got you that blue chew. Oh my god. Alright, so shit oozing out of the uh the vents, super helpful. 
appreciated very much. If you want to do that every time, that'd be great. You looking any different today there, boy? Looking very different. Your shoes? No, nothing. Yeah, like it seems a little short. Yeah, it's consistently short though, so that's okay. <laughs> Why do I feel like these are way further out? I think I'm just making shit up in my head. That's a different bag. That's like a bag versus a suitcase. Nope. I fucked up. God damn it all. We go again. That's different. Look at the fucking tiles on the floor up ahead. What is this game all about? It's about trying to find anomalies with the room. That's fucking different. It's a staircase. And every time you find an anomaly, you have to run back. If there's no anomalies, you keep moving forward. And it's just, it keeps repeating until you get out. Um, I played another game similar to this before. There's gaps in the ceiling where the lights are. At least I think. I thought they were more close together. I guess not. Why the fuck are you staring at me? That's different. I don't like that. He never stares at me. Yup, okay. Any little detail. Smallest little thing could be different. It's the same as so there's a bag, not a suitcase. That was backwards for a second. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> nice, level four. Good progress, good progress. What the fuck? There's a person like in the wall. What unusual about you today, Gene? Um, right there. The door handle is in the middle of the fucking door. Yep. Yep, we are to fucking level six. He's looking normal AF. I'm all fucking concerned about the doorknobs. Come on, baby. Yes! Level 7, level 7. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No. We're going right to exit 8. This is it. This is it. Do we notice anything? Hopefully we do, so it'll be nice and easy. <laughs> the 
fucking god damn it. Which one of you pieces of shits? Fuck you, Treebeard. <laughs> Fuck. I think this tile went too far. It wasn't centered. Oh my god, that sucks. Yeah, Lib, I think it got all of us. Oh, dude, that blows. I was at the end and I fucked it up. Nope, 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 nope. Absolutely fucking not to that. Jesus Christ. Amazing finish for both you and me. <laughs> oh, fuck no. Absolutely fucking not. Dude, this game's getting aggressive ever since I got up to the 8th level, but fucking failed it. We're missing a door. Yep. Looks normal on him today. Good old Gene. Alright, this is another... Fuck! Okay, so it definitely is... The... It has to be that. This next time I'm going to look for that specifically. Like, it's not centered anywhere else. Maybe I'm just missing something. color is a cigarette every time. Is it white or is it for some reason green? Getting fucking wild, dude. I could. The tiles are supposed to be like that, so I'm not going fucking crazy. Okay, so it's those colors. Maybe we could have we already had that confirmed, but. How we looking today, buddy? Oh, Gene. Head him back to work. There's just too many details. You can, like, look for, I guess. All right, here we go. Then, like, there's so many details, you start overthinking. Here's thing is that guy not wearing socks with his dress shoes. <laughs> That's a good point, sugar. Just like fucking Don Callis. Fucking weirdo with his loafers. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no, no. That was, uh, certainly unexpected, to say the least. What is that face? Does this face always look like that? I don't think so. Let's go! Let's go! Hope you're doing well, sugar. Happy Friday Eve, or pre-Friday. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I was going to say, he's much happier. <laughs> oh, 
little shit there, Gene. Go back up to five. Brandon Kool Aid floods are actually very common in Japan. No kidding. I learned something new today. <laughs> oh my god. Different from him today either. Didn't see anything. Okay. Cat. <laughs> They're up to six. All right, there's our boy, Gene. Get him back to work. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't see anything. Damn it. Back to zero. Well. Back to one. <laughs> Wear shoes different colors. Not from the usual day. I wonder if the color of the cigarette changed finally and I just didn't see it. That door's fucking cracked. Goodbye. Yeah, those shoes are always that off color. They don't actually match his black pants. Notice that quite a bit now. Here we go. Moving forward. There were no anomalies in that one. Fine to me. I think we're okay again. No, we fucked up. God damn it. What is it that's changing that I haven't noticed yet? Something has to have changed. On a spot. Not realized yet. Fuck. <laughs> All I want is to escape this place. I'm not asking for much. <laughs> uh... A man walking with class as always. Alright, we're 
back on the road again. Same old fucking gene. Huh. I'm not seeing anything. Fuck. What is changing there? That's an anomaly. Thanks to the easy one. Excuse me. Could you give me more of those easy ones? Fucking Christ. Thank you, tree. Hey, level two. We're back. We're back at it. Okay. Gene's been pretty straightforward for quite a few rounds now. Or something has changed on him and I've not noticed it yet. <laughs> I guess it's also a possibility. Alright, it's level 3. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he's fucking moseying. Level 4. Now you're back to normal today. No Mr. Speedy Gonzalez. The speed run. <laughs> okay. Level 5. Makes it a lot easier when there's a obvious anomaly somewhere and I can be like, oh, yep, there it is. Every last detail is the same on Gene. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Okay, level six, let's go. If there's a version where you, your gene is a chick, there should be a version like that. <laughs> All right, gene. Hold up. Oh, no, never mind. I thought there was like a tattoo on his neck. There was a little must have been a visual glitch or something. On. God damn it. What is it that I'm missing? If anyone notices something, 
that's been changed and I haven't seen it. You guys haven't posted it look different. Oh, did I miss it? Oh. Like that. That's why I love these nuts. <laughs> God fucking damn it, Tree. Thank you for the bits. Move fest poster. Eyes were open a lot bigger. Oh, oh, the ones that are like the security camera ones. Interesting. I think I see something I'm wrong. Oh. Yeah, this game is not, these types of games are not easy. Look pretty normal to me. Nope. No. Oh, God, no. Gene? Okay, well, that wasn't cool. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, very all of a sudden, like, boom. You're good. But there's supposed to be a, another color down here in that eye. Gun. Cool. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah. We were right that time. We were right. Hey, Gene, strutting that stuff. Looking good. I see it's that eye is there again, so we're good. That's the same. Didn't see anything. Wait, the exclamation points? The exclamation points? Where are their exclamation points? Or where they're supposed to be. That one post of the people standing. The motherfucker's smiling. <laughs> post of the people standing. I'll check it out. All right, so there's three of them apparently. So you probably saw either more or less. Yes, yeah, so there's three X. No, four, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, and it's each of the things writing. Uh, there's captions on each of them. So if there's a caption and there's no exclamation point. That's what would happen. This game, yes. Cool. Oh, aim. 
this hain. Anything different about you today, my guy? Just like I always remember you. They're all there. Okay, I think I feel good about this one. God damn it. Fucking crazy. Yeah, there's definitely some level of detail in here that I have not discovered yet. I hope it's not like the times. That'd be fucking crazy. Did not notice anything. Yeah, it's... You start, like, finding things as you go. And you have that memory to, like, look and go, okay. Then there's other things that are just so difficult to uncover. Oh my god, okay. That poster was different. Next. Oh, well then, yeah. Hello, Jean. Never says hi to me. Okay, moving on. Imagine what time he says hi, Jug, I'd shit my panties. God. <laughs> yeah, if this dude just decided to start talking at one point, I'd fucking geek out. I miss the eyes again. God damn it. Can I go back and look at him? Oh, fuck that, dude. They followed me. They're moving. Damn it. Shit. Okay. Now that I know that's there... How we looking today, my guy? Jean. Look for that ever since I thought about it happening. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. It'd be very helpful once I run into it again. 
You know why? It's because I was probably sitting here looking at the movie, fe the move fest poster, and then those eyes were fucking moving, and I never saw them because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we're back on the saddle again. Oh, Gene. Same. The doorknobs are all good. They're not moving. All right. Level two, you're up. Okay, jeans clean. Clean jean. Mean clean jean. Ah! I see you moving, you fucker. Fuck you, jean. that was subtle it, I just happened to catch it move like I decided to glance and look over and it was like Wank. seems clean again boys and girls I'm watching you over there security camera and operate fucker I couldn't find anything. Good. Level four. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Hello, Polish. Welcome in, bud. Hope you're doing well. How things be hanging in your neck of the woods. Dare you. Thought. Never gets old, man. <laughs> Pretty good. I was in Pembroke the other night for the neighbor show. Oh, nice. Six. Five. Zwee! How are we looking today? Gene, you're looking spiffy as ever, my guy. Hope the good work. Throw out the exclamation points there. Eyes aren't moving. God damn it. They're casting a date with the guy in the tunnel. <laughs> it's I, it's not actually that. That might be a bonus achievement. No, we're basically in like a loop. Trying to get to exit 8. If we see an anomaly in the loop, we have to turn around and go back. If we don't see any anomalies, we keep moving forward. If we guess wrong, it resets to level zero. I got to exit eight, and it was just like, well, it's like this way to exit eight. Um, and I fucked up. Oh. 
That looks good. Okay. Let's see. No, still level zero. God damn, the red light? About the red light. It's always like that. I thought it was always like that. Is it always on? Was there a different red light I didn't know about? Left, not right. But so, oh, so is this thing supposed to be in the middle? And then the cone that's actually lights the far right? Check that. Red lasers on the right. That's ignorant. <laughs> I hate it. Regular as ever. Oh, Wait a minute. Is this moving? It is. They're all getting bigger. <laughs> Supposed to grow too. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, wait a minute. It took me till the last one to figure that one out. Jesus Christ. Same old. Old Jerry. Gene, right? If I say Jerry, Gene. Hmm. Aha. You guys said it's supposed to be on the right. What happened here? What? You guys lied to me. Sauce. <laughs> How dare. At least that confirms it's definitely in the center. Sick. I'm always wrong with these games. Oh, so am I. It just takes a while to figure out, like, what's supposed to be where. Figure out, like, what things can actually change in it. You know, to look for them every time. That's why, like, my routine is supposed to be just running and counting the amount of posters on the wall. Checking Jean's fucking fine ass out. Start building a little strategy. Keep trying to get back to the same place you've been. Oh. Like the tooth was different. The tooth? Oh, this guy up here? He's always smiling, and the thing's on the. his right, our left. Okay, wasn't that then? Okay.
think his head thing was facing the other way. Head thing? Oh, like that Mirama bobber? It was like on the other hump of the tooth. I'll keep I'll keep note of that. See if I can catch if I can catch that in action. Damn it. On that side again. Okay, he's good. Hasn't changed really at all. Hmm. Why oh, should still be on zero? Oh, okay. Facing, it's thing's still facing the right way, so that's good. Nothing much different about you today, my dude. Huh. Am I going insane, or is the eye on the right bigger? Like, not the pupil, but like the iris, the black circle that looks like a CD. This looks thicker to me for some reason. I don't think that's it, but... Eh, it could have been. Fucker. It's outrageous. No, no, it's what it looked like before. I think for a moment I just got wigged out. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Excuse me. I feel it, Soma. Welcome in, my friend. Hope you're doing well. You haven't learned much about the right side, it feels. Yeah. The only thing I've learned about the right side so far is either there's a missing door... Stuff was oozing out of the, um, the vents. A door would open. The doorknob would be in the middle of the door. That's it. Half right hand. Hope you're doing lovely, Soma. We're playing the Exit 8, and it's, uh, game's tough. Say the least. Okay. You missed the oozing? Yes, there was some black ooze coming out of one of the vents. Who knows? It could happen again. You never know.
What the fuck? Red light on camera? Oh, son of a bitch. Thank you, Shuffle. We all use a good oozing. Oh, my. Oh, look at the lights. They're fucking all over the place. Okay, nice. Yo, Doom, thank you so much for the lurk, my guy. Hope you're doing well. Like, let's look at all the cameras. Make sure there's no red dots. There we go. There are always faces on the tile. I don't think that's. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. Yeah. Holy shit. I just happened to glance down and I see that motherfucker's face. Like, alright, that's something. Okay. God damn it. Why is this so fucking difficult? Like, what else could be changing on here? If they changed, like, writing, I'm fucked. <laughs> this is not gonna happen. They let you get to eat once, then it was like, all right, time to go in dry. Yeah, no shit, huh? Didn't even fucking spit on it first, like, fuck. I don't know what else. Okay, cool. Again, looking uh same as ever <sighs> dental poster seems weird all right It is wrong on the girl one. Ten, what is it? Ten, ten, what is it typically? Or down there, ten, three. It isn't ten, ten. All right. Second row of the table, I thought it was empty. Oh, both wrong. Oh, fuck. Uh, 
<laughs> Whoops. Oh, good. Soma. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Holy shit. That's going to dish out gifted tier one subs to Lucky Gabe, Daggett132, Darzer, Kazoo, and Lady Sapphire. Well, thank you. Appreciate you, my friend. I didn't think different about him. I just wasn't paying attention. I haven't been able to do that in a while. Spin 12. <laughs> that way, I'll do it. I'll do a spin the next time I hit zero. Just for you. Oh, doorknob's good. Oh God. Okay. All right. Let's do a. Uh... No, no, no. We've heard this song a few times now. In fact, I gotta fucking pick a different album from these guys. I forget how much of the chill album this one was. All right, let's spin the wheel. Oh my gosh, I'm a goose. This whole time I thought that was a cat on the dog groomer poster. I think it's a Pomeranian. Yeah, it's definitely a Pomeranian. <laughs> uh, let's see, will I get another nice one or am I gonna fucking get some payback? <laughs> Thanks, Soma. <laughs> In hell. Uh. Yep, there's the Maruga. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, shuffle, that's great. I love the newt newt with the wings. The Soma classic as well. This is effectively like a spin 12 Soma, I guess you could say. Uh, okay. So. Here it is, the Garlic Moruga. We've seen it a ton in the past month or so. Fucking bastard ass hot sauce. Created very hot, three out of three. Got garlic, maruga scorpion mash, avocado oil, white wine vinegar, water, fresh lime juice and zest, toasted mustard seeds, and spices. All right, let's get this over with then. Cheers. I got a little bit on my lips. Fuck. There we go. They got some. Ho oh, oh, oh. ho ah! Fuck. Drowning in fire. Good lyric to hit there. Ah! Yeah, thanks, Soma. Oh. Precisely. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> Ugh. Taking three points off for that. Oh, down to seventeen. Oh, oh my God. Uh. <clears throat> If it wasn't already past midnight again of the beer, that'd probably help a bit, but I'm just gonna have to sit here and suffer for a few. But anyways, we gotta get this, I gotta get this game done. I really wanna beat it. 
I'm very, very much intrigued. Oh. Holy fuck. And it's, I'm so fucking translucently white right now because of the screen. So, I mean, you can see it. It's, it's this. That box right there is my monitor. That's in my face. <sighs> uh, oh. oh, my God. I just want this to go away. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let me just check my phone for anything crazy that may have come in. Probably not. Uh. Uh. Oh my god. Yeah, just group chat stuff. Nothing too sketchy, scary, or crazy. Alright, I basically just drank my whole fucking Yeti. Fuck it. I'm going back in. Alright. Uh. Ugh. Fucking mouth is on fire. <laughs> Okay. One down the brow of the lady. No, we were good. Exit's upside down. That's the whole sign's upside down, actually. <sighs> they keep remembering to look at the security cameras too for the dot. Oh. Don't worry, I'm only dying. Dying slowly from the inside out. Hot sauce is melting my soul. Oh. Hey, just me gaslighting. <laughs> <laughs> shuffles over I mean shuffle sugars over here with a protractor like this eyebrow was at a 45 degree angle before now it's at 42 and a half Wow, give me some easy shit. I need some victories here. I ain't getting anything. Don't trust that bitch. <laughs> oh, is it? I'm like, is the security camera missing? No. Nothing was missing. Never trust a woman with perfect eyebrows. Fair enough. <laughs> Sugar. Oh, it's fucking funny. 
Okay. And my man Gene's looking exactly the same as he always does. He's got one outfit multiplied 30 times in his fucking cabinet or cabinet wardrobe. <clears throat> All right, I'm again not seeing anything. Damn it, dude. Is it that I'm not catching? <sighs> What's the exit say on the other side? Concourse? Interesting. I wonder if I've been missing that the whole time. Maybe that's been changing. <clears throat> Thank you, sugar. Always turn around at the end. Sometimes the changes happen after you pass everything. Oh, well, thank you, Grin. And welcome in. All right, Gene. You're good. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> that still says concourse. Ah. You need his business casual button down, no jacket, in the back side of the ceiling sign. Yeah, that we know that says concourse on the back. Eyes missing. I don't see any eyes missing. <clears throat> Sick. Moving up. Moving on up. Good. Fine. K. Okay. Doors, those things. Fucking Gene. Turn back, turn back, turn back. <laughs> Fair enough. Look out, Gene. Sick. Yeah, that one's paying dividends already, sugar. Thank you. <clears throat> Nothing changed there. Remember when these eyes used to move pretty often for us? It was fucking weird. Concourse. It could be sneaky. Yeah, for sure. Alright, level four. Trying to have a decent run out of it. Good. Looks good. Check out the main man, Gene. Gene's looking pretty fucking spiffy, like he always does.
Uh, welcome back from the ads, everybody. Sorry about that. That's the one ad break we have for the hour. Actually, it's going to be the last ad, ad break of the night. <laughs> the rest of this schedule... Oh, you fuck. What did I miss? God damn it all. I didn't look up when I turned back around, I don't think. Oh, well, here's a problem. <laughs> They're all the same poster. You turn around at the end. Yeah. I didn't look up either. Like it all. Dude, you haven't done anything fucking weird. Quite a few ra uh, runs. I said raids. That's weird. Uh, okay. Same things there. Yeah. Uh, uh. On course. Yeah. All right. Nothing to see here. Yeah, it wasn't. Every single security camera looking for now. Okay. Gene checks out once again. Yeah! Concord. Huh. Fuck, dude. Oh, what the shit. <sighs> Fucking wild, though, for real. The final turn, check the posters, they can change size. Dog is looking up. Which one? <laughs> I got looking forwards, kind of off-centered, forwards to the right, forwards. Oh, never mind. Okay. Of course. Gaslighting. <laughs> They're going to give you one hint? Of course, Riz. You don't need to look that close at the posters. I'll be very obvious. It'll be very obvious. Um. Yeah, I, I'd say so far the things I've noticed is like his face is not all happy. It's dreary looking. And I noticed it really quickly. I haven't seen shit about this poster or this one. Um. Nothing different about this one, but it's been across all of them. This one was changed. This one, the fucking eyes move. It's already a matter of something tiny being different. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. A 
Also, we should be looking up and down. Yeah, I've seen, um, we saw like, as opposed to these like four parallel lines, it was like the face of Buddha or something. <laughs> it was fucking bizarre. All right, Gene. Uh, no, you good. Okay. Concourse. Then it stop. I don't think anything changed after I turned around. Check the ceiling too. There could be a faint face. Happen to see anyone today. I remember one time I walked around the corner and there was a guy like, he was like in this wall, like staring back at me. Got it. Good to me. Yeah, we good. On course. Okay. Fuck. No. No good. Back to zero. Uh, oh no. Those posters are normally four tiles by five tiles. Now I can actually look into that. Floor and ceiling, yep. Oh! Got a red light coming out of that fucking camera. Move it, Gene. Let's go. My guy, you wear the same thing every day. On course. I'm not sensing anything. Check the no smoke sign too. I think the symbol can change. Yeah, I've been looking. I thought the color might change too, but no, that symbol looks pretty straightforward. Unless it was the first one. Nope. We're good. For instance. Why? What's up, my friend? How you doing? It'll also be obvious with that guy. Yo, oh, yeah, we've had a few things. It was super obvious. On course again. I don't see anything on the ceiling. 
I even turned around too. Those uh, little boxes are all they're in the right spots. Which direction is the cigarette? It's like two thirty. Exactly what it looks like now. Two strands of smoke. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely not easy. Yes, he's the same poster. All right, yeah. The parking garage one made it usually really fucking obvious. But even then, like, it took a while for you to, like, get used to your surroundings and be like, okay, like, what's even expected to be here? Hoping for the, uh, that to be different. All right. Okay. Looks the same, too. Still on the floor, some things are so faint you won't see them unless you purposely look. Well, true, but... I'm not seeing anything. I don't see anything either. But it's good to know you do have to look. Like, I, like I've like i seen things appear inside the yellow. There's a missing... There's missing cameras. I already have to go back. Why didn't this work? Oh, I had to go all the way up or something? Or... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. There's the two I was expecting. Put myself in trouble there. Ha, <laughs> ha. Wrong course. Yep. Looks good. God damn. It's wow, the the longer I play this game, the more difficult it's getting. It's like I have so many things to look for. Oh! Look at that. Little face right there. He was slightly less sexy that time. <laughs> that's not very nice. That's the face. Yeah, that's the face indeed. Helicopter, helicopter. Good brother. I know most of the changes. So I'm so frustrated that something. I have is some kinks that me. I want to like share with you, so we can like do these things. I'm okay, no, like, I have a foot pad. What the fuck's up, creepy? How you doing? You doing well?
You got munchies tonight? Nice. What are you munching on? Sign. The no smoking one? Looks fine to me. Front and back of the ceiling set. Concourse. Exit 8, that's correct. Uh, I got the Snoop Dogg combo from Jack in the Box. Sick. Dude, come on. Want some easy discrepancy on him? Uh, the I sign followed you at the end. The pupils aren't supposed to touch the outline when it does that. It hasn't moved now, but it's obviously a whole different uh, moment. Oh wait, concourse. Exit 8. Don't see any faces. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Go to the end, but not in the corner, then turn back. Yeah, I've been doing that, it hasn't changed anything. To the end. Uh, turn back. Turn back. <clears throat> game is pretty fucking fascinating I will say that keeping my brain active late hours of the evening one of these days he's just not going to be carrying a phone and I'm going to be like ha Fucking knew it. Concourse. Exit 8. Let's confirm that I know literally all the anomalies and we're still missing stuff. I wonder if they ended up um, adding more things since the last time you've played, maybe? Use that creepy smile, too. Oh, yeah, I, I've seen him give the smile once. That was fucked. Oh, my God.
And exactly the same as usual. It's unbelievable. On course, okay. Did run, and I'm yelling like you can hear me. Well, all right, so again, I'm turning around here. I don't think things change when I turn around. I've yet to see it, it change when I turn back around at the end of the hallway. I'm not saying I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm just saying I've yet to see it happen. Yeah, unless unless you're trying to say turning around and giving it gives you like another perspective to look from, and that can be helpful. But it would be really strange to walk all the way through just because you, and you have to turn around. Back of the sign? Yeah, concourse. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Thanks, Tree. <laughs> These times you're going to turn around and Gina's going to be there with an axe. Oh, I'll, I'll fucking shit my pants. Go. <laughs> Tree, that got me. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Jean. On course. Looks fine. Fine. That one looks fine. Oh! Well, okay. Found that one. Been a while since I found one. <laughs> Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Freeze. Everybody clap your hands. Pa 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 pa. I don't know, Gene. Fucking all work and no play makes Gene a bitch boy. Okay. Aha. Right in the middle. Yep. Doorknob indeed. <clears throat> Gene, you mad lad. I don't think you've done anything outside of this exact walk and look. The past like 20 minutes. <laughs> Wrong course. No red light. Yeah. Seems good. Yeah. And it does. Okay, four. It's been a minute since we got up to four. Doo doo. Kool-Aid flood. 
Opa! There we are. Absolutely fucking not with those two guys. Level six. See, that's I like that. Give me a couple in a row. Make it real. How late was like sp it's like sparkling or something. Oh, I guess they all do that. Never mind. Same old fucking song and dance, I see. Oh, missing door. Good call. Yep, two doors shuffle. Nice. Both of you are on it. Seven. It's the best one we've had since we got to eight. Here it is. Let's see. Base on the ceiling. Let's go. Okay, this is it. The furthest we've ever got. Well, we're tied. Jeans being fucking usual again. Front and back assigned. Yep. Regular thing here. Should we concourse on the back? Yep. Looking good. Come on, dickhead. Oh. Uh. That. Okay, I'll walk back. Not seeing anything. Do it. Oh, yes. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Go out from X8 and find all anomalies. Fuck yes. What other achievements are there, if any? That's it. Find all the anomalies and get out from X8. G -e 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 <laughs> Thank you, Shuffle. <laughs> Thank you for the GGs in chat, everybody. That's wild. Good game. All anomalies found. Thank you for using our underground passageway. Oh, then you throw me right back into the game. Yep. Wow. That's crazy. All right, cool, cool, cool. Love it. Um, how many left to see? Yeah, I saw all the anomalies. Apparently, you can never exit. Yeah, got them all. Like the like, yeah, it's I got the achievement for getting all of them. I liked that a lot. Yeah, I it was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. Um. I it's it was definitely more difficult than escape from uh, escape ground zero, which is the parking garage version of that. Um, same thing though. No anomalies move forward. Anomalies go back. Trying to get from like, I think it was like from negative seven or negative eight up to zero, and then you get to zero and you have to go through one more time. But uh, you know, I dig it. <laughs> Oh, great. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the mob officially. Uh, 
Thank you so much for the assistance with that too, by the way. Same with uh, Riz, Shuffle, Sugar, anyone else that uh, that jumped in and tried to help there. There's one like this that takes place in a mental hospital. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Do you know the name of that creepy? I'll go and uh, I'll go and snag it. Have you played alternate watch or hospital 666? I don't believe so. Hospital 666. One to four player horror escape game traverse through eerie hospital levels while observing the occurrence of anomalies and choosing the correct elevator. Some abnormal bosses will chase you to death and you must find the right way to escape them. Oh. Mix at 68%. Not too bad. Made by a Loken, who also made Ghost Some Balls and School 666. Oh, School 666 is coming soon. That's part of the sequel. I'm here to gaslight gatekeep girl boss. <laughs> I'm going to add it to the wish list. It's an $8 game. Not too bad. One friend wants this game. Oh, Demonic wants it. All right, cool. Is that one. And then what was the other one you mentioned here? Alternate Watch. Alternate Watch. I'm assuming it's not an, on Steam. I don't see Alternate Watch. Oh, Project 13 is that's what that called, Creepy? Project 13. There's two of them. There's Project 13 and Project 13 Taxidermy Trails. As one of many kidnapped and enslaved probands of the Project 13 group, you need to find anomalies through your walk. If you not obey and report, you will be stuck in it forever. Mostly positive recently with 70% of the 34. Very positive overall, 80% of the 82. I'll sit watching the chair and free, I believe. Sick. Okay. It's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Itch. Okay. The Project 13, I got that wish listed. That's four bucks. Nice. Yeah, Taxidermy Trails is the sequel, it looks like. They have a little recent event and announcement back on February 21st of this year. Oh, they put out, they put Project 13 out in Jan, at the end of January, January 29th of this year. Uh, Project 13 Taxidermy trial, Trails. Oh, that's fucking creepy. No, I mean, outside of you, creepy. <laughs> Project 13 Taxidermy Trails, a walking simulator set the mesmerizing taxidermy museum. In this immersive experience, you assume the role of a kidnapped probe and forced to find a way to escape. Complete all 13 walks to get out of this nightmare. It's ranked 85% uh, of the 14 for positive. Came out March 11th. So, uh, week and a half ago. Do you have a schedule for when you stream? I do. So, it, it does change a bit um, on occasion, but typically, Monday night, I start at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Thursday, like tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Saturday is 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, best place to keep up with me on that is probably Discord. I don't know if you use Discord or if you're already in like a, an ass load of servers. I know a lot of people are in a lot of servers, and they're like, oh, I don't want to join any more Discord servers. But if you want to join ours, uh, we have a good time, and I keep everyone updated there on what I'm doing. Usually updates us on Twitter about a schedule. Yeah, that too. Twitter's another good place for it. But Discord's best. I always post there first. <laughs> um, and we have, a, if you, we have a bunch of other stuff that goes on in Discord as well, uh, which is always fun. Uh, but, oh, I just realized what time it was. It's almost one in the morning here on the East Coast. So you know what that means. It is time to find someone to raid. Let's see. Remy's up just chatting. East West is playing Supermarket Simulator. Rez is playing Alone in the Dark. I heard it's so-so, which is kind of a letdown. Nox playing, it playing some more Dark and Darker. Bal's playing Outlast Trials. Corn's playing games and demos. Yo, we haven't raided Corn in a fucking minute. He normally is raiding out before we're even here. 
I think I really want to go after corn today. It's it's really been a fucking hot minute. Same name in Discord or link. Oh yeah, if, uh, yeah, it's right in the, the night bot put up there for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, sadly, I don't I don't have one of those like custom links. Um, I wish I did. It would make things a lot easier, but. Uh, let's see. I'm waiting for the ad to die out here. Jesus, what is going on with my shit over here? Sorry, if we have a great rest, Gracie or Night Jug and Chat. Uh, thanks, Twy. You jug lots of fun tonight. Yeah, good good games tonight for sure. Sorry, the ad, for some reason, the advertisement keeps fucking pausing. And yet I see corn sitting here playing. And I can't do anything about it. I gotta figure out what he's playing from the ad here. Well, the ad's in the way. It looks kind of familiar, but anywho, sorry. I don't want to hold everybody up. I know it's getting late. Uh, I'm going to get this raid going. So I uh, really appreciate if you could all join me on the raid. You know, just to go say hi for a bit. Plus, Corn will probably sing us a nice song when we get there. Uh, but if you're a subscriber, that top line there, which I'm going to paste in at the bottom, uh, that's our raid message for uh, subscribers. Uh, since it has some of the emotes that we use, uh, other than that, you can use the line underneath that that has the pickaxe that says raid in red letters. Those are some more, uh, like globally available emotes, but you can use any emotes you want. Um, and then, uh, as I, I mentioned before about discord, but I'll, I'll go into everything here. Uh, if you want to help support the stream and not worrying about money, uh, well, then I have a couple of favors to ask, uh, subscribe over on YouTube. We post up uh, VODs right here from Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we post a YouTube short. After, uh, we also post uh, the same short as a TikTok, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, about the same schedule. Uh, so follow me on TikTok as well if you have that, or until the US government shuts me down. <laughs> uh, if, you know, if you do use Twitter, um, you already know what it's there for. Go ahead and grab me on over there. And uh, last but not least is Discord, like I mentioned. It's it's our home away from home, honestly. We uh, we hang out there a lot. There's a lot of uh, well, Clone Hero playing, we're watching wrestling. Uh, we'll watch some movies. Uh, there's a lot of polls that dictate like what's going to be next with stream. Uh, places where you can leave recommendations for games to play. Oh, and then the meme channels are off the fucking chain. <laughs> See you next time. Oh, thank you, Creepy. Take it easy. Always appreciate it. Oh, you know what? He's uh Corn's playing fucking Bramble. Let's fucking go. That game ruled. Alright. Well, let's get let's get this kick in. Raid button. Corn. There he is. <laughs> Alright, we're starting it off. Thank you all again for hanging. I had some great fun tonight. We played the uh, Exanimum, the Silent Call, and that was a real good walking simulator, like psychological horror, uh, very good story. The lighting was terrifying. Uh, and then the Exit 8 was a real thinker um, and creepy too a little bit. But uh, it was a, definitely a good night, a good time for, um, for indie horror. I'll be back on Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are going to jump back into Bioshock 2. Uh, we just started it last week. We were having a good time with it, but the game kept crashing at the same spot, so it was a little sketchy. But uh, hopefully it works better this time. <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> you have a good night too, Riz. I appreciate you. All right. Uh, so yeah, until then, be well. Go hang out with Corn. If you dig his content, please drop him a follow as well. He's a fellow CEO of Scream, just like myself. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll see you all Saturday. Enjoy your Friday and most of your Saturday. 
See you Saturday night. Bye.